Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to make my flaxseed gel. I'm taking two cups of water, adding it to my boiler. And I just took an old boiler that I had to make my flaxseed gel. Now I'm just turning the stove on to medium heat. to about six. And I'm going to let it boil just for a few minutes. And now I'm getting ready to add my flaxseed gel. I'm going to add um, one fourth cups of this organic whole flax seed, and I just measured it in that same measuring cup and poured it. Now I'm going to just take a plastic spoon and stir the flaxseed gel in the water up. Now I'm going to sit and just let it boil for a minute. I just came back to look at it again and I'm just going to give it another little stir. It's starting to boil now. Now you can see that it's really starting to boil and the slime, that's, that's the best way to describe it, is starting to form and I'm just stirring it up some more and then I'm just going to let it boil until it gets to the right consistency and once it's slimy and stuff you basically can turn the stove off and let it cool but I'm going to let mine boil a little longer to make sure that it's good and slimy. Yay! giving it another stir. Now it has a good boil to it. I'm just going to let it boil and then I'm going to turn it off and let it sit and while it's sitting to cool I'm going to take a shower and then I'll come back and let you see how I process it took to once it formed how I stored it. That 
that's the slime. You see how slimy it is? And once I turn this off, it'll cool and it'll all form. Just turn the stove off and now I'm going to just let it sit and I'll come back with the finished product. Okay, now you can see the thickness of the gel since it's been sitting. I'm getting ready to get um, poured in a container and I'm going to use a pair of knee highs. I purchased these knee highs from Walmart. Okay, I just put a pair of the knee highs onto a face I had. And I'm going to take my flaxseed gel. And I'm just going to pour it inside that vase. I was trying to get that flaxseed gel gel off of the spoon and it's pretty thick and you really have to use your hand to get it off of there but I managed to get it off. So I'm going to just pour the gel. It has cooled off. I'm going to pour it inside that vase which worked out perfect. You just want to um, pour it all um, inside that um, stocking. I was trying to not pour the flax seeds, but they finally start coming. So, in order to get all the gel out, I just went on and poured all the flax seeds in there because you're going to strain it through the stocking cap. So, I'm going to continue and just pour it all in there. slimy you see how it is it's, it don't break apart good and that's my empty boiler and now I'm going to just pull this stocking cap up and strain all the gel down into the base Heavy. You can see the gel up at the top and all the flax seeds at the bottom. But I have to pull it all the way out so I can actually strain it in there. And you just take your hand and rub the gel, I mean, strain it through the stocking cap. Basically, that's what you're doing. And this can be a messy process, so. That's why I just did it on the stove. It's easy to clean up, wipe it off. And I'm just going to continue to squeeze till I get as much of the gel out as I can. And then once I get it out, I will pour it in a container that I'm going to store it in. Like I said, you can you can see that this can be messy, but all you have to do is either rub it on your hair or wash your hands. So 
Now I have squeezed out all the gel that I can get out and the rest in the stock, stocking caps is just the flax seeds. I'll just throw those away and I'm getting ready to transfer my flaxseed gel into a container that I'm going to store it in. And because flaxseed gel, homemade don't have any preservatives, I'm going to keep it in the refrigerator once I put it in my container. So stay tuned and I will pour it in my container. And I will be showing y'all a look, at least a wash and go that I do using my homemade flaxseed gel coming up soon. Thank y'all for watching. And if you haven't already, comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you.